Welcome back, everyone, to another exhibition match. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we have another 3v3 replay, which is going to be Steel Blue, Atostic, and India Ray all together. Cloaky Spider Shield against Randy, Marquis, and Anarchid. This is from like a week or two after the previous replay, and it is going to be kind of short. This is not the live game. There were briefly discussing the end of the last replay this is another replay just to be sure the live games haven't started yet i don't know if i'm gonna do them honestly i had like specific replays i was gonna do but i mean i could do like i don't know a couple matches depending on how long it takes no clue when they're gonna be ready but anyway back to the game proper oh, a small scouting run coming in here actually very quick attacks coming in here marquis Going ham with the glaives, just tearing everything apart. Santa Manica taking the Supermax over the bottom, and Tostic Steel Blue double commander push over to the north side of the map for the Western team. And that's going to be hard to push back. More glaive assaults coming in, and that, or say more glaive defense coming in as the drones come in and try to assault the glaives. Tostic's commander, Guardian commander against six glaives, and it's. Probably going to be a win for the Guardian Commander, depending on the drones. Still, Anarchy's got a solid position to work from. Same time, Randy getting under Heavy Fire. I mean, this, I mean, one Reaver is probably not going to be enough. The two Commanders help, though. And you got Placeholder on top of that, but it's out of position to actually help out. It gets... Guess the drone locked down, but that's about it. Reaver will be able to take out the sling. Oh, that was a misposition. There ever was one. Marquis Commander will be at least be able to take out that Reaver, but still, Atostic and Steel Blue gradually setting up their little defensive line. Haven't upgraded the commanders, though. Nice move switch into skirmishers as well. I mean, I guess, you know, they saw, saw the Reaver and knew they had to deal with it somehow. Moderator is a good choice. Steel Blue's commander. Unfortunately, no follow-up to take them out, so Marquis can't delete them, but they can at least push it away from their main base, get a little bit of breathing room to work with. Same time, though, Widow ran Anarchist Commander. Backup forces coming in here. Plays a little totally out of position. No spiders on the Eastern team. Anarchist Commander looks like it'll go down to fleas. Should be still some time for these ladies to come in and take it out, but it is going to be a tight... Oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. The Venom's able to save the day. Bandit's coming in, though, as backup. Anarchist Commander has another seven seconds before it goes down, or for... Rather, gets back up. The Marquis Commander on the repair, saving Anarchist Commander from the Widow Strike. Nicely played. And now the Widow itself punished for its sins. As the Eastern team is able to save their one of their commanders and continue to maintain their own territory control. Well, looks like the bandits were supposed to get a little more damage than they actually did. Unfortunate, but it does mean Anarchist Commander lives. Going back to base, though. Just build stuff up. Don't even risk it. Build up the energy. They need it. Moderator... Oh, moderator down. Are there other moderators in play? I don't expect so. Same time, Ban is coming on the south side of the map. I don't think they're gonna be able to get rid of this Jack. Does not look likely. And the slings over to the north, gradually removing everything Atostic has. Or Atostic and Steel Blue has. On top of that placeholder, keeping the commander from dodging any of the shots here. Steel Blue on the terraform. Well played there, giving Atostic some room to get out of there. But the north side remains heavily contested, and the eastern team is looking to take it. Same time, the south side is... I mean, this is one terraformed around, a terraform walled mechs. It's the only thing that's actually keeping Anarchy in any kind of position on the south side. So, and yeah, the Venoms are coming in. We'll be able to take that out. As soon as they want to, honestly. But there they go. They go, and there goes the Medlex Director. Completely locked down and done. Still, the north side, there is, again, Eastern Team just 
holding it pretty well, but Southside has been lost by Anarchid. In fact, they're in such a forward position right now. I am honestly not too confident about their odds. Is that a placeholder again? No, it's a Firewalker. Trying to get the Firewalker up. Oof. Well, I mean... Faraday is a good choice to help get rid of the Felon, nothing else. Unfortunately, not really able to get rid of the rest of the army. That's gonna open everything up. The Eastern team is super vulnerable along their southern flank. And that's exactly where Atostic has decided to attack. So, for now, Atostic... The only real hope, honestly, for the Eastern team, because sorry, for the Western team, because the Eastern team, otherwise, they've got the North side completely locked down. Steel Blue is under heavy fire. Or under heavy pressure, not quite heavy fire yet. Though it's close! It's... I... Might be speaking too soon, honestly. They are indeed getting heavily attacked here. And there's... I mean, backup forces for the forces attacking them. Eastern side of the map, nice job with the imp taking out the... Play, or taking out the venoms. Venoms. Yeah. Area cloaked imp. An extremely powerful strategy that... I think people have started to clue into, but then again, it comes up all the time, so... Clearly not something that is anticipated enough. So nicely done there, opening a ton of reclaim up. Which, I mean, you have the area cloak yeah, on the constructor, you might as well go for the reclaim. Now, let's see. Chat asking if 3v3 is the best game such as 0k. I think it's... I think 0k is probably designed for 2v2, 3v3. I don't know if it's necessarily the best game size, but, yeah, it does feel like the game is built more to more to serve that than it is to serve 1v1. Certainly, to serve, I mean, lob spots are technically possible, but they're just nuts. They're a complete mess. But yeah, 3v3 is usually pretty sensible. I mean, he says there's a bunch of chaotic stuff goes on around the map all over the place, but yeah, no, it's, yeah, pretty much seems to work. Although, uh, Randy's commander are about to go down, so the north side, north part of the map, the western team is taken care of. Actually, the same thing with inside the base bandits coming around to that southern flank I was talking about earlier. Getting taken out due to a lack of being on fight move, I guess, but still, that's that was useful. That was a highly effective raid, and now eastern team and have no caretakers, they have a little work with- Oh, but never mind, Anarchist Commander getting revenge for Randy's commander, taking out India Race Commander, back to 2v2 commanders. But more importantly, his position, and Anarchist has their commander in a position where they can continue to apply pressure. However, on the northern side, Atostic is the only one with a commander ready to actually push, along with Steel Blue. But the south side has a lot of army that the commander- that Anarchist commander can't really move past, on account of being dead. Actually, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed that. Anarchist Commander has gotten blown up by apparently a felon. So no, Anarchist lost basically all control over the southern side of the map. It's up to Markeeves to try to hold this, and it's not looking promising. Northern side, under too much pressure for Randy to easily deal with, forced to have a slow retreat. The southern side is completely falling apart. Anarchist wants to throw in the towel, and... Well, I think Marquis might be on their side. Randy's the only one doing decently okay. And indeed, that is Marquis throwing it. Western team wins. So yeah, well played. Yeah, these games, I mean, okay, first off, these are curated games. Like, every single one of the replays that I'm doing, uh, unless I'm doing the 3 3s with Randy and co, I don't know what's going to happen with that. It sounds like they're not quite ready yet. I don't really know. But when it comes to the... Actually, I'm curious. Are they ready? Let's see. Uh, yeah. Battle list. Let's turn this off. All right. So... Hard to say. Well, maybe. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure uh, if Randy could point out in chat whether or not they're ready. If not, then I'll just not bother. I'll just do replays for the rest of the stream. Two minutes? Okay, well then in that case, yeah, I'll do the live games. But yeah, the replays I've been doing are curated. I was 
I don't know. I can't remember who exactly requested them because the they requested it via Discord and I didn't. They are not using the same name there. But yeah, these are all really good games. Like, if you saw one v ones that were this curated, it'd probably be a similar level of interest and skill. But I do agree that two v two, three v three is the game size that works pretty well for zero K. Like, because one of the issues the big issue zero k has like the biggest issue i find when playing it is that if you make any misstep in a 1v1 you're dead it's you're it's just the way the unit speed works along with the fact that you have to expand across the map and you don't really have any kind of like entrenched defenses around like that from the start of the game everything you do is entirely based off what you build with your commander and it's really easy to place your defense turrets in just the wrong place or not place enough or have just the wrong units or your opponent just attacks at just the right angle and you die it takes a it's honestly really hard to get past that point it's part of the reason why when i look for replays to cast i actually tend to look at replays that are 10 minutes or longer just because otherwise it's likely to be just someone dies because they've made a misstep in the early game but 2v2 and 3v3 Having the teammate provides a nice buffer. Like the additional commander allows for a little more defense to work with. And having the additional units being built and them being built faster gives the def it puts defender's advantage like back in the game because um, one of you one doesn't feel like there's much defender's advantage just for the amount of space you have to cover. But 2v2 and 3v3, those seem to handle defender's advantage far more elegantly. And as a result, the games tend to be more consistently a decent length. Now, of course, the downside is the more players you have, the easier it is for the game to just completely bog down. But, yeah, I would say 2v2 is pretty solid. 3v3 with a good team is pretty solid. 1v1 is really interesting, but I don't... It's just... It's very frustrating. It's, not, it's just really frustrating to play it when, you know, one misstep in the first two minutes and you're dead. Anyhow, I think they're about ready, so I'll switch to a quick break, and then we'll be back with the live stuff.